Dr. Romani, a renowned expert on narcissism, is back on the Mel Robbins podcast to discuss her new book, It's Not You. She explains that narcissism is a personality style characterized by variable empathy, entitlement, grandiosity, arrogance, selfishness, the need for validation and admiration, a need for control, and a motivation by power and dominance. Narcissistic individuals often live in fantasy worlds to protect themselves from underlying feelings of shame. Dr. Romani emphasizes that narcissism should be viewed as a personality style rather than a disorder. She explains that narcissism is a maladaptive personality style that is rigid and lacks flexibility. While narcissistic individuals may exhibit traits like entitlement and grandiosity, they are not devoid of empathy. Their empathy is often performative, transactional, and used as a tool to manipulate others. Dr. Romani distinguishes between mild vanity and narcissism, noting that vanity is more superficial and immature, while narcissism involves entitlement and a need to be more special than others. She explains that entitlement is a key characteristic of narcissism and sets it apart from mere vanity. Narcissistic individuals believe they deserve special treatment and often treat others poorly to assert their superiority. Dr. Ramamani addresses the common concern of individuals wondering if they exhibit narcissistic traits. She emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and empathy in distinguishing healthy self-advocacy from narcissism. Individuals who are empathetic, considerate of others' feelings, and prioritize relationships over personal gain are less likely to be narcissistic. It is essential to recognize and address unacceptable behavior while understanding the underlying reasons behind it. Research suggests that narcissism can stem from childhood trauma or overindulgence. Children who experience neglect, invalidation, or abuse may develop narcissistic traits as a coping mechanism. Additionally, children who are excessively praised and told they are more special than others may also develop narcissistic tendencies. These pathways to narcissism often manifest during prepubescent years and can be influenced by parental behavior and societal expectations. Dr. Romani highlights the difficulty in addressing narcissism, particularly in individuals who have been overindulged and conditioned to seek external validation. These individuals may struggle to form genuine connections and prioritize success and achievement over authentic relationships. Therapeutically, it is more challenging to work with grandiose narcissists compared to those who have experienced adversity and trauma. Dr. Romani also addresses the misconception that narcissism is solely a male trait. While grandiose narcissism is more common in men, communal narcissism, characterized by a savior complex and a need for validation, can be found in both genders. She emphasizes that narcissism is not just about bragging or arrogance, but involves deeper emotional issues such as entitlement and manipulation. One of the key myths Dr. Romani debunks is the belief that narcissists are unaware of their behavior. She explains that narcissists are often conscious of their actions and use manipulation tactics to control and dominate others. This awareness is evident in their ability to switch between charming behavior in public and abusive behavior in private. Dr. Romani also challenges the idea that narcissists can change. She explains that narcissistic personality traits are deeply ingrained and rigid, making it unlikely for them to undergo significant transformation. Additionally, narcissists are less likely to seek therapy or commit to the process, further hindering any potential for change. She explains that while narcissists may make micro changes in behavior, such as regulating anger or showing politeness, fundamental traits like empathy, self-awareness, and authenticity are unlikely to develop. She recounts a story of a client who remained in a toxic relationship with a narcissist despite knowing the harm it caused, illustrating the challenges of leaving such dynamics and the lasting impact on individuals and their loved ones. Dr. Romani introduces the DIMMER acronym to describe the patterns of narcissistic behavior, dismissive, invalidating, manipulative, minimizing, entitled, and rageful. These behaviors can dim the light of those in relationships with narcissists, leading to feelings of subjugation and emotional distress. Dr. Romani emphasizes the importance of recognizing the difference between a narcissist's behavior and its acceptability. She explains that a narcissist's behavior is a conscious choice separate from any underlying issues or trauma they may have experienced. 
This distinction is crucial in setting boundaries and not excusing harmful behavior. She also discusses how narcissists selectively target individuals for their manipulation, often choosing those they perceive as low-value targets who will provide the desired supply. The concept of the C-suite is introduced as a gateway to love bombing, where narcissists exhibit traits like charm, charisma, confidence, and curiosity to draw others in. These qualities make them appealing and can make individuals vulnerable to their manipulation. Dr. Romani highlights the need for self-awareness and the ability to discern when someone is engaging in love bombing, urging listeners to pay attention to red flags and set boundaries. The podcast concludes with a discussion on healing from narcissistic relationships, with Dr. Romani emphasizing the importance of self-care, setting boundaries, and seeking support. She introduces her book, It's Not You, which focuses on the journey of healing and self-discovery after experiencing narcissistic abuse. She encourages listeners to prioritize their well-being and take steps towards creating a better life free from toxic relationships.